another day another video welcome back to the channel buddy today we are watching legacies this is episode 13 of season 2 hopefully guys have enjoyed the first season and obviously the first 12 episodes of this season with the last episode episode 12 possibly being the best episode that we've had in legacies <laughs> and that is because we had the return of kai parker and you know that every single episode that that man is in it is a fantastic one now i do not know how many more episodes that is going to be in in this season but i know for a fact that he's going to be in one more because the way we ended the episode was him returning to mystic falls and standing in front of the necromancer so all i know is we're getting one more episode for sure and i'm expecting that one to be possibly the best or second best episode of legacies now i know it's like uh it's crazy to think that one person can affect a show so much but it is the perfect example of uh loving things in small doses you know like you are getting the perfect amount of kai in and out come in do the job make an impact make you all love him make you all hate him and then he leaves and then you're left wondering when's he coming back again you know and when he comes back you know you're getting something sick yet again and that is what i'm fully expecting that's why his character is so good because he comes in he messes it up he ruffles the feathers he ripples uh, shockwaves around everyone and then he gets off in it mate something happens he leaves you know so it's, it's crazy basically you know they went to uh well we had the whole episode of them being in the prison world this is the consequence of rick obviously sending people People there sebastian and we've seen three other people get sent there um in the past and now uh they was trying to blame rick for saying you know you had no really justification for us to send it here you know we was kids crying out for help and you didn't want to listen to us now obviously what i seen is that they actually did go out and he murdered quite a few people who was picking on them and then when rick confronted them and he was asking them they denied it and then obviously rick only seen one way to save everybody instead of like i don't know locking them up or killing them himself he sent them to an alternate universe now obviously that is completely savage but it, it turns out that they wasn't innocent they was going on like they'd done nothing wrong and he didn't kill the people and then we seen it they did so i think that you know rick has to have a bit of leniency there you can't really blame him for everything but the sebastian one you can kind of do it but again he um well he done the sebastian one because he killed somebody in the street and then he was trying to give him a second chance and all he was doing is rubbing it in with lizzie one and he was saying stuff and it got rick mad and he just tried to protect his daughters and uh they've gone to obviously the prison world now because Alyssa, she was one of the people that they tried to um do something to uh compel the memories away and um which is interesting actually she wasn't in the last episode and i'm expecting her to cause a few ripples and waves you know in the final three episodes of this season so i can't wait to see what goes on with her but like i said she uh messed with the ascendant sent lizzie and joseph and rick over to this world and then he was in there he was going around sebastian was there that caused a bit of, you know, like, what's going on. He went off and was like, Lizzie went off and he was kind of like having a romantic day. And he was trying to say, look, stay here. You know, I like this world. The the, the new world is too loud. Too much things going on. They're here. It's that peaceful. We've got the whole world to ourselves. We could do whatever I want. And I could be with you. Now, he called her by the wrong name. You know, uh, I can't remember what his actual girlfriend was called. The one that uh, he loved in the past. But he called her by the wrong one. The interesting thing here is with this one is he wants her to transition over to being a vampire because he said that obviously his previous girlfriend she was a witch and he could do nothing about it and when she got attacked and she got killed she was never coming back and he lost her and he kind of spiked Lizzie's drink with his vampire blood even though she didn't want want him to obviously and then um that caused them to have an argument she ended up snapping his neck you know she was like I think we should see other people interesting and then she got in a police car and she was obviously driving her way back to the Salvatore house in this uh, in this prison world now while all this was going on yeah rick was tied up he got tied up by the three kids that he sent over there the first time and they wanted to try and like punish him for obviously banishing them to this world interesting kai and joel said they was kind of like working together so to speak joel was trying to figure a way to get out of there rick um sorry um what is it kai he was trying to he was playing along he was saying we could do this and that if you help me i'll help you it's one of those things you ask a question i'll give an answer i ask a question you give an answer it was like give and take give and take and he was kind of on each other's side all the way through until kai screwed them over at the end that's why the episode called kai parker screwed us over now obviously 
she ended up screwing him over me because he stole the ascendant. She gave him a fake piece of Bennett blood. It turns out it was like a vodka bottle that she spelled to make it look like it was a Bennett blood. That's why it didn't work when he tried to use the ascendant to get out of it, which is really good because Josie screwed him. Then, obviously, he used information that was said in the episode, yeah. Ranga, he was like, look, mate, there's a way you can get out of here, but you have to smash that hourglass. You have to absorb all that dark magic. But... You've got to do it in the next two minutes, mate, because you told me some information. I'm stood at the Malivore pit. I'm going to jump inside of it. Once I go in, you're going to forget me. You're going to forget this information. You're going to forget your only way out of here. Yeah, I'm going to take a risky diving in this pit, but I'm in a shitty world anyway. And if I die, I die. If I don't, mate, I'm coming back out in Mystic Falls to dominate. And then, boom, mate. As he was falling in slow motion into the pit, Josie ran over, picked the glass up, smashed it. Yeah, he's absorbed with the dark magic. He's gone into the pit. Everybody's dropped because we've seen it when the magic that she cast the first time. All the supernaturals fell. That's right. Lizzie's driving the car with Sebastian's vampire blood inside of her. She's fell, crashed into a tree. She's in a ditch. Kind of like how Matt crashed, you know, when Bonnie was in the car, when she was, like, the huntress. She looks like she's dying I'm actually really excited. I think that I never really wanted Lizzie to be a vampire, but I feel like if it's going to stop a merge from happening, maybe bring Caroline into the show, give us another side of Lizzie. You know, Josie's absorbed all this dark magic now. She might be a mad one. I think it would just be a great addition because, like I said, I've said multiple times that this show is kind of heavily on witches. We don't really see much of the vampires or the werewolves. We definitely don't see anything of the werewolves. And we see a little bit of the vampires with MG and Kaylee, but that is it. Not I, I really need hope to trigger side as well and if she's not going to do it i would take lizzie to be it because then we would have you know somebody who's actually like physically in the little triangle group of the you'd have the the hybrid you'd have the dark magic and then you would have somebody who's doing the vampirism as well so it excites me kai's gone in the pit he's come out of it he's stood in front of a necromancer who are you you know you're not like a monster that i've ever seen before and he's like buddy you don't even know the half of it and then wipes his face and then we finish so ugh mate what an episode i can't wait for today so thanks so much for clicking on today's episode if you do enjoy it please smash the like it really helps out the channel subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump into episode 13 of season 2 of legacies <laughs> Dominated you with the dark magic. I shut up my humanity that night. <sighs> oh, shit, she looks dark, isn't it? She looks well dark. I fixed her. Oh, you look good, Josie, mate. You look good. What is going on? <laughs> Josie looks sick. And I don't know what was just going on there, but I, I said it in the introduction. Um, is it... But what What did they call... I, f I totally forgot what that guy was. You know the guy that come in? I'm going to call him the Seer, even though it's not the Seer. Come in, yeah, and they've used all this stuff and played the story out. They've done it in the introduction. You know when they do it at the start of the episode, the show recap, everything that he said, it's played into a storyline. I actually really love that. That continuity is what I live for. It is sick. Oh, it's all this. Oh, I couldn't sleep. And I was just up all night trying to figure out how I was able to fly. Or, you know, float. I had a dream last night that you were hurt and I couldn't save you. Dorian says that there is a golden arrow in the inventory of her stolen arsenal. What if it is the one thing that can kill a phoenix? If I don't bring them back, no one else will. If I could just talk to them, then Dr. Salzman would know what to do. You told me that astral projection into a prison world is dangerous. But this co-hero is officially banned from flight attempts until the golden arrow is found, okay? Mm -hmm. Not putting myself in danger, no risky astral projection. No, man, that's not a deal because, like, we've seen it in the Vampire Diaries loads of times. Like, Kai even managed to um, astral project Jeremy, I think Damon, and Elena all over there, yeah? And then he got stabbed off his sister, didn't he, Liz, um, Liv, and then he still managed, while injured, while he's on his little good phase, 
sent Jeremy over there to, to speak to Bonnie and touch her. Do you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. You open the garage. So I, I personally have never seen any danger doing astral projecting. Only in Sabrina Teenage Witch. You should watch on my channel because it's sick. Come on, nerd. Just turn the damn thing on already. I'm reading the instructions. <laughs> Look, you want to get our loot back or not? Because we're wasting time. Actually, Dorian was very clear about this being a recon mission. See? It's not that complicated, Milton. Josie, talk to me. Busy's this way. I can feel her. Oh, she looks so good, oh, honestly. Are you okay? I mean, are you in pain? No. Busy. Oh, she's connected. <laughs> she's connected. Oh, it's good. It's good. Oh, they linked. I can't. I fucking I love it. How, how do you know Dr. Salzman? Oh, Rick and I go way back. I was at his wedding. <laughs> Brought quite the gift. But I hear it's been a little hectic at school lately, and you might not have taken your vervain as usual. You're going to be okay, Lizzie. It's all right. It's all right. Black magic is making her worse. She won't make it with it inside her. No, I don't know. I'll be unconscious for a little while. Don't be scared. <laughs> She's fucking sick. I can help. Oh, yeah. It's hard. Training as an EMT when I was 16, and I've spent the last 10 years learning how to patch people up after a fight, all right? She seems like a totally different person. Like, I, I, this one seems like, I don't know, decent. You know, I'm excited to see the, the, the change in the personalities, because the last one was a bit annoying, and I thought she was going to die. I actually thought she was going to get left in this world, but then if she flipped her personality and it becomes really helpful, maybe we bring her back. Hey, what's all this? A flightless co-hero being useful? <laughs> you have the wrong ascendant. Oh, says who? Fam, meet Joshua. Hello. It is in pieces. Oh my, that witch of yours didn't send them to, you know, a new empty prison world. She sent them somewhere, somewhere far older and much more dangerous. Nice job, you broke it. I didn't break it. Guys, listen, I think we should just take five and read the please, instructions. Please, please, bear us here, I'm an evolved vampire act. Okay, Milton. we have to rise above the stereotypes. We have to absolutely. Uh -huh. Y'all are into the same girl, and then she. She's, She's into you. <laughs> I, I guess I must be cute or something. It's about time these geezer gets seen. Tracking a moving target. We had a deal. You might get lost and not find your way back. In my dream, Josie said to me, You're not alone. That's some good news. So, Josh was doing some research for us. He said there's a rare flower that grows near the falls. The extract makes people tell you their deepest secrets. If we take risks, we take them together. I'll keep them safe. There's a Lachlan clamp on the tray. It kind of looks... Yeah, I know what it looks like. I'm on invented it. Doctors are mad, aren't they? Glass looks sealed. The pulse is steady. Hello again. There's something missing from my memory. Someone? Guys, let her, mate. Thanks for the sex, did it say? This guy. The person who's missing from our memory. There's a spell affecting my mind. <laughs> ah, Josie man, you are having a fucking top season, mate. What a character involvement from the last one. I did like you in the last one. I'm not saying I didn't, but I'm absolutely loving you in this one. Oh, wow. Well, the Salvador School. How I've not missed you. I gave you all the information you needed, so now I think it's time you return the favour, Harry. Josie Saltzman crackling with all the black magic you need. If you back off, you do exactly as I said. You okay? What a clean hook that was. You must be Alyssa. How do you feel about team-ups? Mate, if you was locked away, you would team up, wouldn't you, to get out, at least. Try to control your emotions. I remember what Kai said. There's still a way for us to get out. The magic I siphon here can't travel to the real world. The energy needs to go somewhere, which means someone needs to stay behind to be the anchor. Hope's gonna appear now, isn't it? Josie? If only I can see. Kai went into the Malivore pit and we think he's trying to get to the real world. <laughs> that was interesting. We need to do whatever it takes to get out of here. How'd all that go? <sighs> it didn't. Why is it always stuffed animals? It's the weirdest thing. How did you know? Oh, Alyssa Chang just needed a, uh, a compassionate ear to bend. Now, all you need is something that has the equivalent power of a celestial event. Do you have any idea? But we have to go off campus to get it. Oh, is she going she to the falls? Field trip. <sighs> Mate, where are they going? Is it going to the falls? Imagine it, it, this would be the perfect episode to introduce Bonnie just one time, unless she's dead. I always get confused with the storylines. feel like she might still be alive, so I'm going to go with it because Rick is, Dorian is. I, did, I didn't see Bonnie die. 
She hates Kai, and she'll do whatever it takes, mate. So it'd be sick. This doesn't seem like much of a spot for a powerful, magical artifact. Good thing there's not, like, 400 crazy people. <laughs> 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 and so it began. You're not trying to beat me. Because right now, Alyssa Chang is performing a spell that will sever my connection to the prison world. Done. The world will disappear. Hey, smart, anyway. I compelled what's his name? Who's with, uh, you know, your boyfriend, curly hair? They're headed east. Away from the it's a choice. Into the woods. Uh, it's fucking hell, man. You just oh, give you it two options. Doing the map in your head. You'll never make it to both places in time. Who's it gonna be? Mate, <laughs> he's sick. Now I would go for the Saltzmans because we do not have a foggiest bit of clue what Landon can do. When he's under pressure, he could whip out, he could set himself on fire and fly around. You know what I mean? Who knows? He's we we not seen anything. Like, all we've seen, he gets reborn, and then all we've seen is that he levitated last episode. Why? We don't know. He even said it this one. He tried to work out the possibilities why it happened. He doesn't have a clue. So, yeah, okay, you don't want your boyfriend to die, do you? But you're going to save what? Well, if she does go to that world, she'll save six people. Yeah. Oh, Sebastian, seven. Where Landon, one. So, it's seven versus one, plus the Landon one's unknown as well. He could actually dominate them. So, I don't know. It's a tough one, though. Can't blame her for going for either of them. Oh, he's finally dead. Who's the hero now? Are you for real? Who are we guessing? Landon. Oh, it's Raph. Oh, what a twist. Once I begin the spell, I cannot stop until it is done. So, when you see the door... You have to go. Imagine if they'd done the merge and they become one person and then they all escaped and then they somehow extracted it later. Dad, don't do this. We'll find another way. Lizzie, there's no time. Kai got out. He's at the school. I'm so sorry. I never should have. It's okay. I love you. Right, they just said that they needed somebody to anchor it, yeah, so they could do the spell. Sebastian's still here, yeah, why can't they anchor it to Sebastian? Also, didn't Sebastian say that he wanted to stay in this world as well? So it's like a win win. He stays here. Everybody goes home. He's the anchor. Obviously, unlucky for him is the world will possibly collapse. But, yeah, it doesn't make sense why Rick has to stay when they could just anchor somebody else, the other person that's here. Dorian, stop. This isn't you. I know, but I can't stop. Maybe help is on the way. You'll never make it to both places. The only way she's making that is if she, if she dies and turns into a vampire. Helium, Contra, Nucleus. Helium, Contra. Stop! <laughs> Sever the connection, the prison world collapses. Everyone in it will die. You don't want to be responsible for someone's death. Oh, she killed someone before. Was it her parents? Is that why she's here? That isn't me. <clears throat> I promise I'll keep you safe. But I have to hold you while they shoot the arrow. You can spin around though, you can I take it. So I'm smart, see. Should get me right in this show. This doesn't exactly mean that he's gonna die though. No matter what happens, just stay on one of the heroes. Oh no, you're just dying. No. Ah. Mr. Williams. I'll get you out, I promise. I know you will. Now you gotta go. <laughs> ah, wound the frame. You can stay then. I'd keep him there. Some people don't know what to do with a second chance. I put Elizabeth in danger. If you wish to thank me, take care of her. So, how exactly do we do this? You touch me and become the anchor. Can you tell your sister something a better man would say? It's a big, a big respect to him. Turn around, all oh, black mm -hmm. eyes. Oh, oh, it's normal, Joel said. She's not even got black hair. I'm back. They brought that sword back, though. Like, it's interesting. It's, it's full of dark magic or something, that as well. Thank God I didn't see you. <laughs> He's just going to walk I out of the woods. It's flying, mate. I told you. Guy saving Mr. Williams. Oh, wow. That's well better than levitating. Look at this, mate. He looks sick, though, don't he, mate? Let's be honest. Dorian. I'd go, ta-da. Uh, did I not just say, though? I'm sure 
when I said Hulk's got a decision, save seven, like save one, that he's the unknown and he could set he could set on fire and fly away. I'm, I'm sure I said that. I'm, I'm sure I did. Lizzie should stay off her feet for a day or two. I'm glad to have the real you back. Lesbian. She, she said she's a lesbian. Hey, mate, relationships, get in there. The spell that we did to escape this world is making it unstable. It won't last much longer. All good things, as they say. Go to a building called Triad Industries in Fort Valley, Georgia. I'm sorry, but I have such terrible taste in men. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did warn you when we first met. Fort Valley, Georgia. Say it back. I'll always remember. Goodbye, this way. I actually really like him, me. I actually do. Now here's the deal. This is a one-time thing, all right? <laughs> we had a day. You already saw me lost to you, didn't you? I know how hard loss like this is for you. You still made the right choice. Are you would have crumbled on it. You definitely would have. You need to be the hero. You do what the rest of us can't. Oh, I can't fly. Can you tell me what it's like? It's like falling away from the earth. I guess I just have to take you up sometime so you can see for yourself. Hey, <laughs> that would be sick, innit? it? I hope he's gone there. I do hope he's gone there. <laughs> I was going to ask the necromancer's got to come in and get him because nobody's seen the necromancer out there apart from him. But he didn't really manage to get him there to the falls to get whatever, did it? It didn't work out. The plan didn't go as predicted. But Sebastian, let's just go to him for a second. If he's gone, all right, he's gone. But he's not been a bad guy. I don't think he's done anything bad. To be honest, okay, yeah, he's, he's given Lizzie his blood, yeah, but he never, he never killed her. He just... Yeah. He, he, he just wanted what he thought was best. He blinded because he suffered an action in the past with somebody in a similar place and he thought that this was a beneficial way of helping them because obviously he's seen the other side um, and then obviously got put in this world because he was saying stuff to Rick, but he was lashing out, wasn't he? Do you know what I mean? Like Because when he was in there and he was taking a tour around the school and the witches were saying, they were saying that, look, he don't feel like he's good enough for Lizzie and he's scared that he's not going to fit in somewhere. Do you know what I mean? He's scared of being rejected from, from the school. I just feel like he's just a normal guy with a bit of so, a couple of insecurities, a bit of like, I don't know, a bit, a bit of fears. And like and he's just not part of this world, is he? He's a different one. He's coming to a fresh new one and it's just all different to him. And I, I, I just think he's a he's decent and uh, he done well to sacrifice he done what i said anyway like you know he didn't really want to go back to the main world and um he should have been the anchor he should have um and he successfully obviously was at the end and done the sacrifice so if he's gone he's gone out sacrificing himself like a good a good person a good champion i'm, I'm assuming that wolf man uh, i don't even know his name he's died and stayed there because what an ass you know what i mean like he, again, he's a typical person that he was involved in five killings or whatever. He killed five people and then he got a consequence for the actions that he undertook and then he blamed someone else like Rick for putting him there. Do you know what I mean? Where in the real world, he'd probably be put on uh, death row or he would be locked up forever. So, you know, you got to take what well, the rough or the smooth. Yeah, at least you're alive somewhere else, but with no one there. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. You're still up. I'm always up. Well, then send a minion to free me. The Dark Witch has returned. I no longer need you. <laughs> Imagine if it was Joel, sir. Imagine. Oh, it's Rick. Given all we've been through, this feels a little anticlimactic. Took everything away, this didn't it? It's for Joel. It's the second time he's had his head cut off. <laughs> Didn't even hesitate, Rick, did I? I bet he's dreamt of that for time. I'm excited for... I am excited for Josie, man. I think she's had an amazing season so far. And I do love how her character has definitely changed. And uh, she, she, you know, she absorbed that magic. I thought that she was possibly going to do some bad stuff in this episode. But she didn't. She actually created a spell. She came up with a plan, created a spell. And uh, saved the day, pretty much. Created a portal. She done it. She, her powers, yeah, her knowledge, she um, siphoned, like, some of the magic out of Lizzie. Then she used her previous knowledge of the magic to blast everyone, to give everybody the memories back. Then she created a portal, said they need an anchor, and sent everybody home. 
she was a secret MVP of the episode. Without her, they wouldn't have got back, would they? Without her knowledge, they wouldn't have done it. She did, she had the note, remembered the guy, knew someone was missing. It was all good stuff, literally. So, uh, she was a, a secret winner of this episode. I mean, it's exciting to see Raphael back. You know, I didn't even... We've not even seen him in a while, have we, since he met his dad. And we've not even seen... Well, uh, they kind of justified it. I was thinking, wow, has his dad done something to him? But it's like, no, when he got off the bus from his dad because he did ask his dad to drop him off at the bus station didn't he but he's like maybe i can stay the night and then take me in the morning he was like yeah sound give him a hug he's got off the bus on the way here hooded man come took them guessing chad so but why though why did they want Raphael? do you know what i mean what have they done to him have they done something to him why would they just get him and tie him up for no reason do you know what was the end goal with that we see landon as well flying around got burning wings he looks sick dorian hopefully he's not died but he took one for the team i was smart as well yeah all he was saying is he had to hold him there while the arrow was shot. He never said that he had to be shot by the arrow. So they could either held him there, shot, dived out the way. He pushed Landon, took the arrow himself, you know, saved him. I thought Hope might have killed herself and um, then come back, obviously, as a vampire and then, like, sped one way and done some stuff and then sped the other way, you know, because you know how fast that they can move. But, no, she didn't choose Landon. She chose to save the Saltzmans, which, again, I said I would have done because you never know what was going to happen with Landon because we don't know what powers he actually truly possesses. And I was saying save seven lives. They say six, but technically say five because the seven would have been Lisa, Jose, and Alaric, yeah, that's three. Then you had the three people that were sent there. That was six. And Sebastian, seven. I thought that all of them was going to get saved, but no. One had to stay. So that meant six was going to be saved. Then no. The wolf, whatever's, he wasn't going to forgive Rick. So I'm assuming that he got killed and he stayed. So then five, yeah. So only five people got saved. But not only. It was a big, big number. Five is a full hand where Hope was only going to save one. If she went for landing. And she didn't. He saved himself, mate. Well, Dorian saved him, and then he saved Dorian by getting his wings out and flying over. He looks like a beast, and then everybody's come back in the present. Now, I am actually excited for these people that have returned because I remember that the one that turned the humanity back on, I am sure. Now, you can never say you're 100% of positive because lots of information floats through the show and you got to try and pick up on it. But I am sure she said that she was a lesbian and not interested in men a couple of episodes ago. And we all know that Joe is bisexual. And this would be a good love interest if Penelope's not coming back. So I'm excited for that one. And I thought, again, this was a good episode. And uh, it looks like Kai's died as well. Second time, head cut off. First time, Damon. Second time, Alaric. Mental. Okay, and that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Another episode with Kai in. Another fantastic episode. Looks like it's the last episode with Kai in. Um, like I said, he always comes in, ruffles a few feathers, has some great episodes, and then disappears. But looks like he's now gone. I knew there was going to be some significance of bringing that sword back from the prison world. He took it from the armourer. As we've been told before, down there it was all like mystical dark objects and uh, yeah, that is something that they've obviously utilised, brought it back into the present when Lizzie come because she thought that she was going to uh, come back and Alaric was going to stay and be the anchor but nope, that didn't turn out to be and then obviously Alaric's come back from a, a generous sacrifice from Sebastian he, he's pushed him in there, you know and uh, then he's going to took the sword himself and took Kai out the Necromancer as well wasn't, you know he didn't want to come and save him or nothing because he tried to screw him over as well the only thing that's a negative for Kai like for Kai, for me, I don't really care, but for Kai is that he tries to screw everybody over. Even though people that he's got partnerships with, even though people like him, he'll still try to screw you over. So, like he was saying, when he was in that prison world, them people woke him and they thought he was going to feed him in and stuff. And then he realized that he was a leader and he was their alpha. Pretty much that's what happened. You know, they woke him in that prison world. It turned out he was their alpha. They all become his followers. They're his sheep. And pretty much they was working on a way to get out of there when he did find a way to get out of there even though he had all these loyal people behind him they was willing to you know like torture Alaric, torture lizzie and josie and all this stuff yeah he wanted to just bounce and leave them there didn't care you know he was happy for them all to stay while he left even though they become a unit become a team now he come back into the present he made a deal with a necromancer and then he's gone and tried to do him over again do you know what i'm saying like he wanted to destroy the prison world see my question is why did he want to destroy the prison world? Just because he didn't want them to come back and, like, go after Kai again? Because um, the necromancer, you know, uh, he wanted Joseph, and he said that he would help. 
Now, Kai, he could have easily come back into the present and then disappeared, just absolutely effed off and just gone. Other side of the world, lived his life, but no. He infiltrated the school, tried to take out everybody, and he backfired. And, uh, yeah, because he, he crossed everybody, like, you know, every alliance that he, he becomes part of, he always tries to screw them over. And this time it didn't work again, and Rick's coming obviously killed him. Now, like I said, I thought that... Um, Jose may have been like this bad person now she took this dark magic but no she turns out she was a good one and she ended up saving the day and bringing everybody back into the present now Rick was going to be the anchor and Sebastian's come and he's took that role he's pushed Rick back and then he's gone over and he said to uh, Jose you know tell her something that a better man would say or something like you know like uh but we didn't actually even get Josie telling him a speech you know he's just become the anchor and then we've seen liz uh astral project over there into the world and like we said we've gone on a few times landing jo um what is it hope oh astral projecting's bad you know we don't know what's going on well they had no problem in just going, do you know what I mean? Like, she had no problem in just popping over and having a conversation with help from Jose, do you know what I mean? When Hope was trying to do it to make sure everybody was not dead, they was going on like it was like some sort of like crazy thing and she could get stuck over there and we don't know the consequences. When I just obviously counted it and in the Vampire Diaries, he's done it loads and Kai managed to do it while he's getting stabbed from his sister. He still had the strength to send Jeremy over and nothing happened. Jeremy ended up saving Bonnie, who was potentially going to kill herself. So, yeah, I don't know where that was coming from because we, we just took the possible consequences of it being bad when Hope was trying to do it to not really anything, like when uh, Lizzie wanted to have a conversation with um, Sebastian. She ended up telling him about the Malivo pit, telling him the location, the triad facility, but I don't know if he's actually gone there. He said that he will always remember and he was smiling, but he had looked like he had no urgency to go. He had his bourbon, he was sipping it, and he was like, do you know what? I would have liked this world. And I, I personally think that the Ascendant's gone, he's gone, and he's just, um, yeah, he's, he's took the ultimate sacrifice. He's saved Lizzie because he loves her, he saved the family and Alaric. And uh, like he said, not everybody knows what to do with a second chance, and that's steep. But he was a good character, and he's he's been a good introduction, or whatever. Like, he... It, He's come in the season, he's played a good role. He's not been like a crappy one or whatever. He's come in, done a little bit of good stuff, and then he's left and made a little impact here and there. I'm excited, like I said, to see Raphael back because he's been an absent teammate for this season. I don't know why they've chosen to not have him in the story, unless he's been off filming something else and he's come back now, but I literally have no idea why he's not been in it. Um, but I'm excited to obviously see that in back because I do want more wolves and vampires in it and not heavily focused on the witches. But Josie is still a witch. And uh, so is Lizzie, and I love the fact that they was potentially linked, and I did like how Lizzie had obviously a bit of dark magic in her, even though we didn't see anything happen. Um, the merge still could possibly go on, because um, Lizzie didn't transition over to being a vampire. Rick successfully done surgery with the help from one of his students that he sent over there, the vampire who was going on a Madden um, last episode. Um, but Josie's used the magic to turn her humanity back on, and now she's been extracted back into the present. She seems like a kind of nice person and um again i'll be all for her being back in the show because she looks older than these other ones but she's also uh, a potential love interest for josie which excites me because i want josie to be happy i think josie's had a sick season and um you know i really liked her and penelope together and um you know she's not had a, a much luck with the landon situation when um she was happy at the start and then obviously he's ended up choosing hope which i don't mind but um i would like her to also be happy herself as well and find somebody so if it's going to be with this one I'm excited to see where their relationship goes. Like I said, Landon as well. He's got his wings out. He's flying, mate. He looks like Lucifer. It reminded me of... Um, do you know when um, Amenadiel picked up uh, Charlotte's body? He was holding her. He got his wings out and he flew to heaven, mate. He was holding a dead body in his hands. That's what I kind of, kind of remembered when he came over with... Um, what is it with Mr. Williams? But then also, they've hopefully managed to save him as well because he said that he's resting up in a normal place, a hospital, and getting his well-deserved, you know, uh, medicine, rest, and procedures. So, again, looks like everybody's successfully um, safe back into the present, as well as a few new characters. Kai looks like he's gone now, but the Necromancer looks like he's going to potentially still be going after Joseph because at the end there, it still looks like she's got the black magic inside her body. So, thanks for clicking on today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been back-to-back -back great episodes um Alyssa as well just before we finish she done the right thing it didn't actually take out the prison world so i don't know if she's going to be in the season now or if she's just done her part in the role of the prison world and sending them there who knows we have to find out but we'll find out tomorrow so thanks for clicking today's video if you liked it please smash the like it really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always i'll catch you in the next one
Cheers, guys.